To northwest Queensland, a vast area of rivers, swamps, mangroves and mosquitoes, goes an expedition from far off Sydney. The assignment? To capture crocodiles and bring them back alive for the big city's reptile park. The man in charge, the park director, bearded Eric Worrell. In his team is one-armed Terry Arnold, a local man, wading in now to help catch a few young crocodiles. Don't let that word young deceive you. They can easily snap off a hand or foot. It's a game that needs loads of guts. For a one-armed man, courage indeed. The junior crocodiles will grow up in Sydney, and Eric Worrell's glad to get them, but it's the big ones he's really after, especially the rare black crocodile. Maybe on this trip he'll net one. Anyhow, they're going to want their nets. There's news of some monster reptiles not far away. The expedition has everything. To the radio van come messages from spotters up in their light aeroplane, saying they've seen a large crocodile sunning its lethal snout a few miles downstream. Converged there by boat and truck is the direction sent out by Eric Warren. Operation Crocodile is strictly for experts only, brave ones at that. And here's one reptile caught up in the net. They've really got a big fella here. The crocodile has nothing against Sydney, but he'd rather stay in Queensland with his wife and family. A dentist's eye view of a perfect set, everyone is own. The sack prevents it seeing the water, and in the end, the huge reptile is mastered. One of 33 that Warrell captured on this exciting trip. That's as many as you could keep alive on the long haul back to Sydney.